Hi again guys, how you all doing? Hope everybody's doing well as always. And for those of you from the US, uh, particularly on the east side, I hope you stay clear of that Hurricane Irene, you know. I hope it doesn't hit you too hard. Take care of those collections. And all the best. So yeah, just up, just back with an update. You know, I think it's been 10 days since my previous one. And I've bought quite a few things since then. But um, I'll show half of them now, half of them next week. I don't want the video to go on too long, it takes ages to upload. Uh, but anyway, let's get stuck straight into this one. Uh, mostly horror, got some cult exploitation films as well in there. So let's kick this one off then. Starting with Contraband, Lucio Fulci film from 1980 I believe. Yeah, I never intended to get this one. You know, I'm a fan of Fulci, but I tend to stick to his horror stuff. But I was watching the Fulci documentary the other day on one of my DVD special features. And they showed a clip of this one, and it looked really violent and gory. Uh, especially for a non-horror film. So I thought, oh, I've got to have some of that. So, got myself a copy. Haven't seen it yet, come through the post yesterday. But really looking forward to checking this one out. Um, I've read mixed reviews about it. You know, some say it's the best non-horror film by Fulci. You know, others say it's the most gorious, violent, bloodiest gangster film ever made. You know, it's about feuding drug cartels in Naples. They get involved in a bit of a turf war by the looks of it. Yeah, it's meant to be really quite violent. Um, so, yeah. Great, really pleased with this one. Didn't know it was, I was aware of the film, but I didn't know it was as, as violent as it was. Um, as it's meant to be. So, looking forward to checking it out. On the Blue Underground label. Hasn't been, hasn't been released in the UK yet. Um, uncut and uncensored for the first time. Uh, extras, you get a theatrical trailer and talent biographies. So, it's light on extras, but I got it for a good price, and it's uncut, like I said. And you can't get it in the UK, so we're all pleased with it. So that's Contraband, and I think he made this just before City of the Living Dead. Right, next up, another film I've been wanting to see for a while. Um, one ticked off the wish list. That's Class of 1984. Uh, the DVD in the UK has been out of print for a while. Um, but I saw a seller on eBay UK, and he had a bunch of these Dutch imports. And... The amount I paid for this one would um, equal the amount that I'd pay for the young cut. I mean, the um, out of print UK DVD. So I was really pleased with this. It's, it's a really nice steelbook. Uh, well, it's like a steelbook slash metal pack. It looks like a steelbook from the outside, but once you open it up, um, it's got a plastic interior and it looks more like a metal pack. But it's a fantastic edition. Uh, it looks really good on display as well. The front cover's embossed, and I love the artwork. And it's not a bad release as well. I mean, you get a commentary, and you get a making of, some trailers and TV spots. And like it says, it's uncut and uncensored. Uh, as far as the most violent film of the 80s, I don't think so. I haven't seen it yet, but I don't think it'll be as violent. The most violent film of the 80s, I mean. The 80s was a violent era for films in general, not just horror. But So it's got a lot of competition there. But really look forward to checking this one out. Uh, so that's cast in 1984. Right, moving on, we have another one I've been wanting to get for a while. It's Rosemary's Killer, also known as The Prowler, from 1980. So, watched it a few days ago and it's excellent. Really enjoyed it. Um, the kills in this are brilliant. Uh, there's only seven of them. No, it's not a big body count film, but um, each one, you know, it shows them in graphic detail. There's no cutaways, really bloody and realistic. And some of them are quite disturbing, actually, as well. So it's definitely become one of my favourite slashes, uh, and a great makeup effects job by Tom Savini, one of his best. And no, aside from the deaths, it's got some pretty good suspense as well, some decent atmosphere, creepy music score. So all round, it's an excellent film, I thought. Um, uncut in the UK for the first time, but there's no special features apart from that on this disc. You get a photo gallery and trailer. But um, these are becoming a bit more rarer now in the UK. Um, the price has gone up to around £15 on Amazon, I noticed. So I found a seller on um, eBay UK, selling these for 4 99 brand new and sealed. So grab them while they're still around at a decent price, because it's excellent. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. So that's Rosemary's Killer, also known as The Prowler. Right, next up. We have The Mad Butcher from 1971. This is in Aus um, not in Australia. It's an Italian-made film set in Austria, and it looks like a take on the Sweeney Todd story. 
Haven't seen it yet, but it looks really campy and cheesy from the trailer. You know, it was a complete blind buy. Um, but it looks fun, you no. Know? Give it a go, see what it's like. Oh, it's only 250. And it's not a bad race, actually, as it goes. It's uh, remastered. You get a couple of short films, radio spots, and a bunch of trailers. Um, and I believe it's a direct port from the US release, where something weird video. So it looks okay. Give it a go. That's the Mad Butcher, also known as Meat is Meat, from 1971. <clears throat> right, next up, uh, we have Waxwork from 1988. This is another one I've been wanting to see for a while. It's quite hard to track down now as well. Um, yeah, it looks good fun, looks entertaining, quite comical. Looks like a take on the House of Wax story. But it's really quite gory, got some good effects. So yeah, give it a go. Um, this version is uncut, but it's in full frame. Uh, this was re-released in the UK by Lionsgate, but that version's cut by a f 5 seconds, I believe, to the gore. So, I was pleased to get the, this, this release. Uh, no special features there, you get a trailer and filmography, but nothing recorded specially for this release. There's also a part 2, which I'll be on the lookout for as well. That's Waxwork. <clears throat> Next up, we have a film from the 80s, I think, yeah, 84. It's Firestarter, uh, based on a Stephen King novel. Got Drew Barrymore in this one, Martin Sheen, George C. Scott. I don't believe I've seen this film. I can't remember anything about it if I have, anyway. So I thought I'd give it a go. Only 150, so grabbed it. Give it a go. It's Firestarter. Uh, moving on. Oh, this one is a good one. Um, this is Body Melt from 1991. Um, Aussie made film, I think. Uh, body melt film as well, obviously. And I do enjoy body melt body melt films. Really disgusting and gross effects. And this one's meant to be more of the same, really. Bit of a social satire, quite funny. Pokes fun at the um, extreme health freaks out there. And yeah, I've read some really good things about this. Meant to have some great gore effects. And just good, good overall fun, really. So that's body melt from 1991. Right, something a bit more modern now. Uh, we have a an interesting one. It's called Rubber. It's the, the Killer Tire movie. Just had to see this as soon as I heard about it. Just see how it plays out. Uh, should be good. Yeah, it's meant to be quite comical, you know, but really gory. Good fun. And yeah, read some really good think, reviews about it. Um, looks like it's going to be a bit of a cult film. It was well received at the horror festivals, I believe, as well. So we'll give it a go. Uh, nice little release this actually. Um, uh, right down to the disc, which is in the, sh in, in the design of, a, of the rubber tire from the film. And the uh, cover is also reversible. Um, let's try and get the cover out actually. Yeah, there's the reverse cover there. Yeah, which is pretty cool. But I think I'll stick with the gory one. That's awesome. So yeah, Killer Tire movie, Rubber. That's pretty good. Right, moving on. Get some stuff out of the way. Uh, next up we have crazy little Japanese film, Alien vs. Ninja, and it's really cool lenticular cover here. Yeah, I watched this one last night, and it's very low budget, you know. But like like a lot of Japanese films, they make the, the absolute most out of their budgets that they have to work with. But it is noticeable, no, noticeable the uh, the budget restraints, especially during the CGI scenes and the alien itself is just a guy in a in a suit with a big big mask. But um, it's got some great action sequences. Um, it's quite comical as well. It's quite some it's got a bit got a few scenes of slapstick humour. But it's got some decent gore, you know, nothing too outrageous, nothing like Mich Machine Girl or Meatball Machine or Tokyo Gore Police, but there's enough carnage to keep the gore hounds happy anyway. So, good fun, but like I said, it looks big budget, but it's not, it's low budget. But it's only £3, you, f you can find it pretty cheap. And it's still fairly new, it's like, made last year, but you can find it for a decent price, but no special features on the disc. But good fun, no. Worth a look if you're into your crazy Japanese films. You know, it's an interesting mix of genres. 
So yeah, worth a look. Alright, next up, as you can see here, is Husk. Uh, this is one of the After Dark Originals. I've seen a lot of these in people's updates recently. And this one seems to be getting the most praise anyway. So I thought I'd give this one a go. The Killer Scarecrow film. Meant to be quite jumpy as well. Got some decent scares and decent gore. So, should be a good one. Looking forward to it. And if, don't, if this one's any good, I'll check out the others in this series. I think there's eight. Um, but we give Husk a go. Any special features on this one? No, you don't. No special features. That's alright. Comes with a nice slipcase anyway. Anyway, so that's Husk. Right, and the final one for this update. Uh, it's a bit of an oldie now. It's um, from 2006. It's All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. I'm a little late in seeing this one, you know. I wasn't initially intrigued by it, but I saw it for 150 on the shelf and thought I'd give it a go. It's cheap enough now. But it's meant to be okay. Not too bad, actually. But we'll give it a go when I'm in the mood. So that's all the boys have Mandy Lane, and that's it for my update for this week. Um, like I said, I'll continue the rest of my update next week, because I've got more stuff to show. I've got more stuff in the mail as well. Um, Don't Torture a Duckling by Shameless, that's coming out next Monday. Well, Tuesday, because it's Bank Holiday Monday over here in the UK. And we've also got Pieces coming out soon, that should be my next update, the, Ar the Arrow release. So yeah, some good stuff on the way. So guys, I'll leave this now leave you here take care as always enjoy your weekend enjoy your bank holiday for those of you in the UK and uh, for those of you in the US take care of that hurricane all the best there so take care guys bye